this is the Earth. The Earth consists of different layers. Its surface belongs to the first layer called the crust. The crust is made up of several large and small plates. The middle layer is called the mantle. Mantle is the widest layer of the earth and it is mostly made up of magma. Mantle is divided into two. The one closer with the crust is called upper mantle and below the upper mantle is called lower mantle. Under the lower mantle is the central layer of the earth, which is called the core. Core is divided into two parts. The liquid layer is the outer core, and the solid layer is called inner core. The layer of the earth can be simply compared to a hard-boiled egg. The shell can be identified as the crust. The white part is the mantle, and the yellow part is the core. And just like a hard-boiled egg, the earth's crust is also broken, like a broken pieces of eggshell. Each part is called plates. The movement of plates on the crust is often accompanied by earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. What is an earthquake? Earthquake is the shaking of the ground. Earthquakes happen when crustal plates move. As these plates move, some parts of the Earth's crust are pushed toward each other or away from each other. The plate's movement causes nearby rocks to move as well. These rocks break and slide past to each other. And when rocks from the underground break or move, waves of energy are released and sent out through the earth. These waves trigger an earthquake. The motion of the ground during an earthquake is measured by an instrument called seismograph. There are actually two types of earthquake. These are the volcanic earthquakes and the tectonic earthquakes. Basically, these are also the reasons why we are experiencing some earthquakes. What is a volcanic earthquake? A volcanic earthquake is the shaking of grounds that happen when there is a strong volcanic eruption. On the other hand, tectonic earthquake is caused by the movement of Earth's crust or crustal plates. A tectonic earthquake may occur above the ground or beneath the oceans. The strength of an earthquake is in terms of magnitude and intensity. Now let us answer this question. What is the difference between magnitude and intensity? Magnitude refers to the amount of energy released by an earthquake from its focus, while intensity refers to the effect of an earthquake, especially the damages. Magnitude is written in numbers with decimals, while intensity is written by Roman numerals. In measuring the magnitude of an earthquake, it is important to locate the focus of an earthquake. 
the focus is the break in the ground caused by the pressure of the moving rocks. So, focus is the place where the earthquake originates. The ground above the focus is called the epicenter. In measuring an earthquake's magnitude, we use the Richter scale. It was developed by Charles F. Richter. He is an American seismologist, or a person who studies earthquakes. Here in the Philippines, the government agency responsible for this kind of matter is the FEBOX, an acronym that stands for Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Now let us describe the strength of an earthquake based on the Richter scale through different magnitude. If the magnitude measured by the seismograph ranges from 0 to 1.9, people can never feel it because it can be detected only by seismograph. If the seismograph measured 2 up to 2.9 magnitude, people may feel it and they might observe hanging objects swinging. If the magnitude reaches from 3 to 3.9, the ground movement is comparable to vibration of a passing truck. For magnitude 4 to 4.9, earthquake may break windows and cause small or unstable objects to fall. For magnitude 5 to 5.9, the earthquake may damage a well-built structure and can severely damage a poor-built structure. For magnitude 6 to 6.9, Earthquakes may cause crack on concrete walls and chunk of plaster and concretes may fall from the walls. For magnitude 7 to 7.9, buildings may displace from foundations. Cracks on Earth's surface may occur. Some underground pipes may be broken. If the seismograph measures 8 up to 8.9 magnitude, bridges may be destroyed and only few structures may left standing. But if the seismograph says 9 and above, it only describes a near total destruction. What about the intensity? Intensity refers to the effects of the earthquake as shown in the destruction of buildings, infrastructures, crops, and as well as number of casualties. Earthquakes can cause building destruction, fissures, liquefaction, and tsunami. Historical records of earthquakes in the Philippines from 1589 to the present show that our country is frequently hit by earthquakes. Some of these earthquakes have caused a large number of casualties and damages to properties. It is because our country is located in the area where crustal plates are weak. This area is called the Circumpacific Belt, or also known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. Pacific Ring of Fire is a roughly 25,000 mile chain of volcanoes and seismically active sites of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions.